and I think that it is absolutely marvelous the way they are following in the footsteps of previous generations. Before I came to address these few words to this uh, Hawaiian uh, Baha'i Youth Conference, I was thinking about Agnes Alexander. Agnes Alexander became a Baha'i in 1900, and she was taught by my mother, May Maxwell. And she always, Agnes, always addressed me as her sister. And at the end of her life, she was one of the five women hands of the Baha'i faith. And she was one of those who were able to lift the great burden of the passing of our beloved guardian, Shoghi Effendi, and carry it as one of the hands of the cause of God. She was a very, very wonderful person. And I think that many of the young women in Hawaii should study the life of Agnes, which was one of, from the moment she accepted the faith of Baha'u'llah till she died, in other words, 71 years, as far as I remember, uh, she devoted herself entirely to serving the cause of God with a single-hearted devotion. We have in our faith very great examples. We have examples in the early history of the faith, of the dawn breakers. You remember Budus, the youngest disciple of the Bab who loved him so much, who was martyred in the end. They were all martyred in the end except